Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about how to gracefully handle exceptions in Flutter. So here we are going to discuss about how uh, we can handle network exceptions gracefully. So let's have a quick look at the app. So the app is really simple. So it is, it is a trial app. So here if you enter an amount and hit fetch, it will fetch the available currency conversions and you can change the currency to a different currency and it changes the amount uh, to that currency so that's what actually the app is doing so basically it hits an api and gets all the conversion rate and let's see how the whole networking network layer is uh, defined so here I have this network data manager, so which implements this web service API. So here you can see there are two functions, uh, one execute get and execute post. So I use uh, DO is the network library, which handles uh, get and post bit differently. So that's why I'm using two different functions. So here you can see it, the, the function returns a future which has a result type which has the value and the exception if any so that's how it is uh, designed so to know more about this result type uh, please see one of my video where i talk about this result type i will post the link to that in the description yes so here i create uh, the do client and set up all the default uh, timeouts and base some of the uh, options like base url the timeouts headers etc and this is the function where we have the get uh, call and once we get a successful result we pass the success uh, the response value to whoever made the call so this is how i have designed the network data manager it does only a uh, api call so you get an api request make the call take the results and pass it on pass it back to whoever made the call so it doesn't do any uh, processing or something like that it's it's the duty of the caller to do the uh, processing and convert to whatever data it's it needed then you can see uh, like whenever we hit an exception there's a function to handle the exception so before we uh, go into that exception let's see what is needed uh, to build that so step one would be we need to have exception types so here i created something called an enumeration which defines all the possible exception types that we can have uh, which it, this is really extensible also so i created a bunch of them like request cancel timeout no internet connection bad request etc and a corresponding message obviously so we want to gracefully show the user what has happened not a like a technical error message so i have an extension which defines a uh, a message for each of this enumeration so i i haven't fully implemented it but so this is how it will look like so for example if it is an unknown error it will return unknown error if it is a no internet connection it will pro probably return saying that there is no internet connection so first you define this exception type and i have this message which is to be displayed to the user then i create a application exception class which totally handle exception for this app so which implements the exception uh, api so here I define like it will have a property type which is of exception type and by default its value will be unknown error because you do not know and it has an initializer which takes in an exception type if there is a different exception type it will be that and uh, a two string function which will display the message so you have the exception type and application exception class which uh, which configure using the type now let's go back to the data manager so in the handle exception this is where we handle all the errors coming uh, as part of the network call so here we will catch the uh, error 
and then we look for uh, the types so for do will return something called do error so we will check like what type of error it is so uh, so here also you you can have different types of errors coming from do so we will check that and convert it into our own errors our own exception like for example cancel becomes exception type dot request cancelled kind of timeout becomes request timeout accordingly we map it to our exception type and for example like all the http normal errors like 400 uh, 401 etc so we make all of the, these things to our own exceptions and even socket exception and any other exception so we completely handle it in this handle exception class and we make it to our own exception type which is understandable to the user uh, or the end user so that's that's what this handle exception does and then uh, we make an, an application exception object and send it as a failure to the caller so the caller can uh, do the necessary needs so this way uh, it would be more easier to uh, gracefully handle the exceptions that is being thrown to us so by converting into our own application exception and you can uh, this is not only applicable to just network it is applicable to things like uh, database operations so you can create another exception type or another exception class like db application exception which has a bunch of different other things or exception types so this way it will be easy to manage and organize different error types and to have our own interpretation of the error in this way it would be nicer to organize your exception types and exception and easily uh, able to extend those exception types and manage them yeah so yeah this is all i want to discuss uh, try that out and i will share the link to the code in the description so that you can have a look and see how this is being done yes uh, thanks for watching bye bye